الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين This is a video talking about Muhammad Hijab and his latest attack on الإمام المجدد محمد بن عبد الوهاب رحمة الله عليه Let's listen to what he has to say Because it's it Because it has the comprehensive how the Prophet dealt with the Usul Thaqa Ta'ad Al-Arba'a and Kashf Shubuhat those books are not required for anyone's guidance and I'll tell you that uh, with all due respect uh, those books are in fact not required for anybody's guidance the, the Usul Thalatha okay. yeah the Usul Thalatha if I bring you the yeah. I'll bring one hadith of the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam one hadith which is where the, the, the angels were asking Ma wait wait it's not required how is it not required the Ummah is suffering from great ignorance are you not in the da'wah scene? Are you living under a, a rock? People don't know what La ilaha illallah means. People don't know what, what arkan al-Islam, the pillars of Islam means. They get confused. They don't know what arkan al-Iman is. They don't know any of that stuff. They don't know how to pray. People don't pray. And you're saying that we don't need these books? Mm. If I put that in a pamphlet, it would be better than a thousand of books of Abu Muhammad. Wait a minute. This Usul al is talking about this hadith. It's actually talking about this hadith and it's just giving you backing it up. Uh, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab is backing it up with verses and a hadith that's explaining and supporting these three aspects. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who is your prophet? He didn't come up with something new. Muhammad Hijab is trying to make it sound like it's contradicting. It's something else. It's actually that hadith. So I'm very confused. I don't think he read it. I don't think he read Usul al-Thalatha. And by his analogy, by his analogy, yeah, we don't need the tafsir al Quran. Khalas, we, we have the Quran, read the Quran, that's a, it's better than a thousand Ibn Kathir tafsir, and tafsir al Tabari, and tafsir al Qurtubi, and tafsir al Sa'di, and all the tafsir. Why do we need tafsir? Khalas, we don't need. Just Quran is enough. We don't need Fath al Bari. We don't need it. We don't need Kalam ibn Taymiyyah, Aqid al Wasqiyyah, Iqtida Salat al Mustaqim. We don't need all these books. We have the Quran, we have the Sunnah, خلاص, enough. طيب, Muhammad Hijab, خلاص, we don't know what Tawheed is, and you are in the da'wah scene, and it seems like you, I don't know, you, you are coming up, you have found something, discovered something new in da'wah, and all these ulama before, the contemporary ones who explain Kitab al-Tawheed, and Usul al-Thalatha, they're all wrong, they don't know. Masakin, they don't know. You know. You teach us Tawheed. How about that? Do you have any books? Any muhadarat, lectures, durus, workshops? Do you have any of these stuff? You don't want people to learn Tawheed? What is it exactly? Rather than you attacking Hamad ibn Abdul Wahab, who called for Tawheed and replaced shirk in the Arabian Peninsula with Tawheed, alhamdulillah, because people used to worship tombs here, you know, in the Arabian Peninsula. And the guy came and called for Tawheed. Read his books, it's all there, I'm not lying. Rather than you attacking him, go attack the deviants. Who are calling for takfir, revolutions, bid'ah, uh, calling for worshipping other than Allah, all this stuff. And subhanAllah, one of the, some of these people you are rubbing shoulders with. Daniel Haqiqatu, Bro Haji, huh? and you're praising some of them too. Wildid Diddu, Qaradawi, how about them? Why don't you go and refute them and expose their deviance? Wallahi, this is an advice for you for the sake of Allah. Humble down, stop attacking the ulama. The Prophet Sallallahu said in Hadith Al Qusi Qal Allah Azza wa Jal Manada li waliyan adantuhu bil harb. If you attack and accuse or or harm a wali, a pious person, which is a alim, a scholar, then Allah will wage war against you. Why would you want that? Why would you want that for yourself? I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide you and to make you love and respect the ulama and to make you a caller of Tawheed and Sunnah. Allahumma ameen.